Hello there, bringing these art lessons to you on YouTube. We're shooting them for Studio Channel Islands Artist Group and working with schools in Ventura County and also offering them to anyone who wants to see them to help out uh, your kids at home and have some fun, okay? All right, this is lesson number one, starting now. In these first lessons, we're going to work from a sketchbook. If you don't have a sketchbook, you can make one with uh, multiple sheets of paper and you can compile them later after you've made a few, either with tape or with glue. You can work with a pencil like the one I have here. It's a woodless pencil. It's a 4B and you can also use a 2B. These are great for shading and rendering. Also, I have a kneaded eraser. If you have access to these, they're great. We won't use these in the first few lessons, but later on we will be using an eraser. Well, any eraser will do, but this is just a, this is a good one. I'll set these aside for a second. Open your sketchbook if you have one, or just grab a few pages. I've put my name and a date on the upper page so I know that this is mine in case they're handed in uh, into a group of uh, class uh, classroom students once the schools get back into session. Um, so just write your name and your date here and that's your first page. If you want to do some artwork on the cover we can do that later after you've done some sketches and get an idea of what kind of artwork you like to do. Anyway what I'd like to do on the first lesson is leave this page blank if you have a sketchbook. Go to the second page and what we're going to start with is just dividing the page into into a, a layout. So we're going to just go let's see let's try let's just split the page in half. So look at the page look at the half we're going to split it with one line down the center and then we're going to split it vertically giving it a, a horizon line or a straight line across. And then we're going to fill these up with rendering ideas. The first rendering idea is just drawing with any pencil a thick to thin line. So you're going to push hard and then you're going to lighten up as you go. Very light, very light, very light. There. Another line very light, lighter, another line, darker, pushing harder, and then lighten up, lighten up. Just make four lines. Lighten up as you go, lighten up. And the next one we're going to do, you can do this with a crayon or the edge of a, a pencil if you have a woodless pencil. I want you to do the same thing, pushing and if you work your pencil back and forth, you can make it go lighter to darker as you lighten up, lighten up. Dark, heavy pressure, medium pressure, light pressure. We'll just do three lines here. Dark, heavy pressure, medium pressure, light pressure. And we'll try this one over here. We'll try doing the same thing, but we're going to render. You're going to go back and forth. And as you go down, you're going to lighten up. You're going back and forth. As you go down in the midway right here, you should be half as dark as that. So if this is darker up here, a little darker up here. Lighten up, lighten up, and then get very, very light. Very, very, very little pressure at all here. Back and forth, very light, almost white, almost white right there. And you can kind of fill in some of the gaps. And then this one, we're going to make two shapes that overlap. We're going to make a circle and this triangle. In this one, we're going to go dark. And we're not 
gonna hit that guy. Lighter, 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 but don't go inside there. And then we're gonna come back up from the bottom. We're gonna go dark on the bottom. And we're gonna go light. So you can go back in and fill in some of these areas that are uneven. The idea is to gradate from dark to light. 